until the end of September. Today is the final day of the Pulsera Project. The Pulsera Project is a nonprofit organization that sells handwoven bracelets made in Nicaragua and Guatemala to students in the United States as means of fair trade. All profits directly benefit Nicaraguan and Guatemala youth through the funding of youth shelters, women's shelters, and educational programs and scholarships. Stop by the Pulsera Project table in the Commons during lunch today to check it out and purchase a bracelet for this great cause. Mock trial will meet on Mondays during C lunch. Students should sign up for Mr. Gutshaw's flex time. Any students who are interested may attend. You do not have to have taken a law class to participate. Join us next week in celebrating Banned Books Week, an American Library Association that promotes the freedom to read. Check out the display cases by the library to see which beloved books people have tried to ban. Much thanks to Bookends member Olivia Lusk, Madeline Seiler, and Grace Patterson for assembling the display. And now to Allie with your sports. <laughs> Good morning, Big Spring. I'm Allie, and I'm here with your sports. Sports scores. The JV boys soccer team lost to Northern last night, 0-5. The boys varsity team won 5-4. Tyler Flood and Connor O'Burn each scored two goals last night. Cody Breon notched one goal in for the Bulldogs. Caleb McCullough and Mitchell Socio each picked an assist last night. Tucker Williams picked up the win last night, and the goal with five saves. Girls Varsity Soccer beat CD East 1-0, JV beat CD East 2-0. Both teams lost to Northern yesterday. Field Hockey beat Shippensburg 1-0 with a goal from Alex Kudalakis. JV lost 2-1. Volleyball also beat James Buchanan. Upcoming sports. Cross Country has the Foundation Invitational in Hershey Saturday starting at 9.45. The third annual, annual band brawl will be held Saturday at the Big Spring High School Stadium starting at 6.15. This is a marching band competition and an admission is $8 for adults and $6 for students. Come out and support your marching bulldogs. Football plays Northern tonight at 7 p.m. and is once again the Sentinel game of the week. Here's a way you can participate in the student section and cheer.
Today is the last day to get your paint ward ticket at lunch for $2. If you do not and you want to participate, it will be $3 at the door. Don't forget to wear your white and arrive at 6 p.m. at the grassy area behind the visitor's side of the outside of the stadium. Reminders, after the paint war, do not wash your hands in the bathroom. There will be water troughs set up for washing hands. Make sure you pick up your trash and clean up after yourself. Advanced Mass Media student Emily Parrish recently created a feature story about the new track and field. Check it out. Hi Big Spring, I'm Emily Parrish, and a few weeks ago the new track and turf field was put in. I'm here to give you some insight of how it would benefit our school and our teams. Field hockey and track are the two teams that will be using the new track and turf field the most. Absolutely, I think, uh, you know, we're the only school, well one of the only schools in, in central Pennsylvania that, that still didn't have a turf, so um, this is what sports is moving to. Um, I know a lot of our kids that play club sports um, or outside of their season with a, with a club team or a travel team um, are used to playing on trap on turf, um, so it's definitely going to be beneficial for our athletes. definitely help us a lot throughout the season. I mean, last year we played a lot of games on turf, but we weren't really prepared because we would practice on grass. But now we have the ability to practice on turf, so it's it's not as bad anymore. We get we get to practice like we play. As a goalie, like the splitting, the diving, the slide tackles have all improved. Um it's a lot faster so we can work on like just I'm like, passing and something another skill that we can work on. It makes being on offense a lot easier because it's easier to pull. There's no divots in the grass, like in the grass. My superintendent is very happy with the new track and turf field. Fry said, we are extremely happy about the new field, and I am excited to see the field hockey succeed and track have their meets on the new addition. I think that last season, um, a couple of the games that we lost were turf games. So had we had a home turf that we were used to, um, ultimately we would not have lost those games, I think. Um, you know, the turf is one factor, but um, I think that we would have been more prepared for those games had we had turf to practice on. And with those wins, uh, we could have had maybe a better seed to be able to go further in districts. You can read more about the new turf field on the Sentinel and make sure you support the track, field hockey, and soccer teams at the brand new track and turf field. I'm Emily Parrish reporting from the Advanced Mass Media class. And now to Ishmael with your weather. Good morning, Big Spring. I'm Chief Meteorologist Iggy Ishmael. I'm so fancy. With your weather. Today will be sunny and very warm with a high of 86, as tonight will be clear and cool with a little bit of patchy valley fog. With a low of 63, which is perfect for tonight's football game against Northern. This weekend, we are looking at temperatures in the upper 80s. With clear and sunny skies, next week we are expecting, we are still expecting above average temperatures in the mid 80s. The Category 3 storm, Hurricane Maria, swept towards the popular vacation islands of the Turks and Caicos and the Bahamas on Thursday. In just almost 24 hours, Maria left up to 40 inches of rain and million, will leave millions of residents without power for months. Puerto Ricans might not get any power back for up to seven months. At least 15 people were killed in Dominica when the storm was passing. And now to Haley and Hannah with your news. Thanks, Ishmael, for the weather. Khan Academy is challenging students with the Breakthrough Junior Challenge. Any student aged 13 through 18 is eligible to create a short video explaining a challenging concept in physics, mathematics, or the life sciences in, in an engaging and creative way. If your video is cho chosen, you will receive 200 $50,000 college scholarship along with awards to the winners, teacher, and school. The deadline is October 1st, so if you are interested, please stop by the counseling office for more information. Students from the Business Incubator 2 class 
are selling red, white, and U t-shirts with a portion of with a, a portion of the proceeds being donated to the troops. The, t the shirts are $25 and can be purchased by contacting Jordan Smith, Johnny Brooks, Joe Pellette, or Hannah Washington. Bring hygiene items, shampoos, toothbrushes, or more, and non-perishable canned goods to advisement on Wednesday the 27th. They will be collected for Cypress Springs High School in Texas, and all the items will be sent to them next month. Bringing in items counts for Color Wars points. A special team is being formed to organize our fundraising efforts for Cypress Springs High School in Houston. Any students with an interest is welcome to join us. Please sign up for Ms. Hetrick's flex time on Friday during A-Lunch. All from us, Big Spring. Have a peachy day.